A simple homemade Van de Graaff generator. Things required. A wooden base. A PVC T connector. A PVC pipe of 3 to 4 inches in length. A PVC coupler. A 6 volt battery. A 6 volt DC motor. Uh, insulating belt and some wire for brush a nail with a glass rod and a tin can now for the construction we'll start at the bottom and work our way up the first thing to do is to glue the T uh, connector onto the wooden base this piece will hold the generator up and allow us to remove it to more easily replace the rubber band or make adjustments. The PVC T connector will hold the small motor. The motor fits too loosely by itself so we wrap paper or tape around it to make a snug fit. The shaft of the motor can be left bare but the generator will, will work better if it is made fatter by wrapping tape around it or putting a plastic pulley onto the shaft of it. Now we put a rubber band onto the pulley of the motor. Next we drill a sm small hole in the side of the PVC T connector just under the makeshift pulley on the motor. This hole will be used to hold the lower brush which is simply a bit of standard wire frayed at the end that is almost touching the rubber band on the pulley. The rubber band is now placed on the pulley and allowed to hang out of the top of the T connector. Next we take the PVC plumbing pipe and this pipe will go over on the top of the T connector. The rubber band will be going up through this PVC pipe. The length of the PVC pipe should be just enough to fit the rubber band. The rubber band should not be stretched too tightly since the resulting friction would prevent the motor from turning properly and increasing wear on the parts. We wind some cloth onto the PVC pipe to fit to find the right size for the coupler. Now, now drill three holes on, on the top of the PVC union coupling. Two of these holes need to be diametrically opposite one another since they will hold the small nail which will act as an axle for the rubber band. The, the third hole is between the other two. And it will hold the top brush which like the bottom brush will almost as the rubber band. The top brush is taped to the PVC union coupler and the coupler is placed onto the PVC pl plumbing pipe. The rubber band is threaded through the coupler and held in place with a small nail as before. Bear the top brush and twist it to keep the individual wires from coming apart. The free end of the top brush will be curled up inside the empty solar can when we are done and thus electrically connect the solar can to the top brush. We need a small glass tube to act as both a low friction top pulley and as a triboelectric com complement to the rubber band to generate static electricity by rubbing. 
glass is one of the best materials to rub against rubble to create electricity. The next step is little tricky. The small nail is placed through one of the two holes of the PVC union coupler and the small glass tube is placed on the nail. Then the rubber band is placed on the glass tube and the nail is then placed on the second hole. The rubber band is on the glass tube which is free to rotate around the nail. At this point, we are ready for the empty solar can. Aluminium pop top cans are good for high voltage because they have nice rounded edges which minimizes corona discharge. Tuck the free end of the top brush wire into the can and invert the can over the top of the device. The last step is to attach batteries. We will use a 9 volt battery to attach it to the DC motor to make the motor run. Thus, the, our vanagraph generator is ready for use.